top story right now at 530. A large property that sat desolate for years has a brand new vision tonight. City leaders listen to residents about what they would like to see in the Iroquois neighborhood. It comes years after 850 units were torn down. WHAS 11's Alexis Jones shares the new plans for the land. This huge plot of land behind me has been empty for more than a decade. But now today, community members and leaders share their big plans for it in an effort to help their neighborhood grow. I want to see a place where people feel welcome and safe and supported. A common desire for people living in the South End. Their voices were heard Thursday during a meeting with stakeholders and city leaders. Metro Council sent out a survey to people living in the South End back in March, nearly a decade after the old Iroquois homes were torn down. Now is the time to make sure that the um, responses are held up um, as realities as we move forward in implementation. Results show neighbors like Claire Wallace would like more green space, community centers, and mixed income housing. And I think that we can absolutely include it, especially when we're talking about affordable housing. Lisa Osanga with Louisville Metro Housing Authority is working to secure funding to bring residents' visions to life. Meanwhile, she says phase one of the redevelopment project will be affordable senior living homes funded by the $11 million from ARP. Something that's been a long time coming, as you heard from that timeline, these units came down over a decade ago with no real plan for redevelopment. So I'm excited that I've been able to lead this community forward with getting some funding into this community for redevelopment at Iroquois Homes. This is a solution that we won't see for years, but we've got to plant those seeds now so that we can serve um, especially our seniors um, who are facing this housing crisis. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side. And Louisville Metro Housing plans to break ground on the Iroquois home site at the end of 2023.